I'm Jayla. And I'm Michael. And this, and this is, is your Past, past TV. This is the Hillcrest Minute. It will be a softball game at ACA against ACA on March 8th at 5 o'clock. Your books are on sale until spring break. There are $65 with your name on the cover and $60 without. See Ms. Reeves in room 101 for more information. All running applications are now available for 10th graders. Nine weeks exams will be this week. Wednesday will be 6th and 8th period. Thursday, 1st period, 3rd period, and 5th period. And Friday, 2nd period, 4th period, and 7th period. Your prep class has held a reality check activity on the, at the library Wednesday, March 2nd. Reporter Jaden Little has more information about the activity. On March 2nd, career prep teachers took their students to a reality check workshop, and the students got to talk with adults about how to make it on your own. Students were very shocked. Hey, I'm here with Ms. Shirley to talk about the reality check program. I've had students to say, oh my goodness, my mom and dad were actually telling the truth. They don't have any money left at the end of the month. Or I've had other students to say, I'm never getting married, or I'm never having children. Um, the comments are, I learned so much. So we get really good comments from the students. So we feel like that we're making a difference. Thank you. Students went from table to table about buying a car, buying a house, and buying groceries. Hey, we're here with the career prep teacher, Coach Bowen. So, Coach Bowen, why did you choose this program for your students to participate in? It just gives the students an opportunity to learn about what life's all about once you get married and have kids, um, what jobs you have, gives them a chance to manage expenses and, you know, see what it's all about to really uh, know what real life's about and managing money and getting them prepared for that because it's something that I didn't have opportunity to do in school and I think it's great that these kids get to get to have that experience so they'll know you know when they get out of school you know what it's like and what real life's going to be all about. Okay thank you. I'm learning money management a lot because you want to go out and buy like a really nice TV and internet but then you realize that you can't afford groceries. <laughs> I won't go out into the world thinking everything's going to be five dollars and it's actually a lot harder than that. I'm Jaden Luda reporting. Back to you. Ms. Wilkerson and the Internet Club will be making blessing bags. Let's check in with Ladarius who has more details about these blessing bags. Okay, we're here with one of the two Internet Club sponsors, Ms. Wilkerson and Ms. Payne is the other one. So Ms. Wilkerson, how did you come up with this project? Well, I saw the actual picture of a blessing bag on Facebook and the way that the people on Facebook were using it um, is they, they made up the bags and then they keep them in their car and then when they come across people you know on the side of the road who appear to be homeless or in need they just open the you know their window and hand them the blessing bag you know in the place of I guess handing them money that you're sometimes not sure you know how the money will be used and this way you just know that they're actually getting something that will benefit them. Okay, um, how do you feel about this project? Well, I think it's a great project. I think it's really good for our club members because they, they don't work on it individually. They, most of them work on it in a group. Um, and so they're creating um, the bag from a list that we provide. And I just think it's a, you know, a good outreach um, for our kids, something for them to participate in. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks, Ladarius. These blessing bags will help people in need tremendously. Seven Pats TV staff members were privileged enough to go to South Carolina from March 4th to 6th to a journalism competition. They went to different classes to learn more about videography. Desiree Shepard is one of the students that went to the trip. She has more on the story. Getting closer and closer to the presidential election in November, students are excited but yet so nervous about who will win the vote. At school and across the globe, Students are creating tension between the classes over the debate on their favorite candidate and their reasoning behind it. 
Out of all the negative things about the candidate, students have been looking up these things that have been said and they also have an input on this and how this creates conflict between classmates at school. I have a friend that supports Donald Trump and I can't even like talk to that person right now. <laughs> I just don't see how anyone could and it just, I don't know. It just causes like conflicts and just my like personal friendships and stuff. Because Donald Trump is a legitimately dangerous character who has very inflammatory remarks constantly and could seriously jeopardize America's future. Bernie is kind of unrealistic with what he's doing. Honestly, his they don't have as much power as everyone thinks they do, so he can't, all the things he's saying, he can't really do all of that. But since America's kind of, oh cool, like lower taxes, that's cool, they all think it's great. And then Hillary, oh, Hillary, she's just, She's tired. She's just tired. That's all I have to say about her. <laughs> Bernie Sanders is getting a lot of attention from many students for his care of youth. Um, personally, I agree that some of Bernie's ideas are a little like out there and could be hard to do like free college, but I do support Bernie just because I think he's really consistent with his beliefs and he's been saying the same thing forever. Bernie stands for a lot of the same ideals that I personally believe in. Um, he was a very strong activist in his youth, um, which resonates deeply with me. I think Bernie would be the best president because he has really, really good ideas and I think that he could help, help the country a lot um, with the things that he believes. We talked to students about their input on the conflict between students dealing with the election and also their input on the election as a whole. Um, we have quite a few students that are very hard-going Republicans and then we have a lot of um, very liberal Democrats at our school so there are some <laughs> tensions between the students. Just shutting someone down the first time they hear a, an opinion that's different from theirs is a good way to solve conflicts, just listening to each other. Realize that if you think they're crazy for supporting Trump or something, they probably think you're crazy for supporting Bernie or vice versa. For Cypress TV, I am Desiree Shepard. Hey, we're here to talk to Coach Garner about the baseball season. So, Coach Garner, I heard that y'all beat the number one team in the nation last week. Uh, we did. We did. Um, we were able to go to Mississippi. Every year we take a trip over to Mississippi for a tournament. And uh, this year we've actually scheduled three out of the top 13 teams in the country and um, just so happens that the first one that we got to play was over in Mississippi this weekend when we played Oxford, Mississippi. How do you plan on like improving your team in between those two big games that y'all have coming up? Uh, just learning to compete. Um, I think they did a real good job the way they answered in the first game but if you look at us from game to game uh, and right now we're sitting at our records 12 and 4 which is a good start for us but the main thing for for me that I think these guys have to uh, understand to take it to the next level is learning to compete every single game. Hey, I'm here with Cole Frederick to talk about the baseball season. So Cole, I heard that y'all won a big game last week. So can you tell me like, how did you prepare for it? Uh, we went in uh, to that game just like any other game really, just gonna play our game, stay focused and not let the moment take control of us. So it was just really just any other game for us. So how do you feel about the next two games that y'all have coming up that's really big? Uh, we know we got two more good teams, so uh, we know we got to prepare the same way as we always do and just come out ready to play the same way we did against uh, Oxford. <laughs> Snapchat has become a big thing for students. Snapchat creators have came up with the idea of filters that put things on your face. Here are some students with their opinions on the new Snapchat filters. <laughs> As you know, Snapchat is a very popular app that everyone at this school uses. And recently, we have adapted a new filter just for our campus alone. And with that, it comes pros and cons to having the filter on the app. Uh, as far as the Snapchat filters, um, there can be some positives and there can be some negatives. Um, anytime we're representing our school, uh, Hillcrest, we want to make sure that we're putting forth our best effort and putting out a positive light. Uh, we want to remember that anything that we do on the internet, even though it may seem like uh, it's something that's temporary, even with Snapchat, you know, it's very easy to, uh, for someone to, to make that a permanent part of the internet. 
but I think it can also negatively affect our school by everyone being able to post whatever they want and it not being monitored. And we don't want there to be any repercussions for something like that happening. So, um, you know, it's, it could be it could be something great if it's used in a positive way, but it also can be something that can get you uh, in some hot waters. While we have this app and have this filter, there's very positive things that we can do with it. We can show what's going on on campus and give a positive outlook on the things that we have going on at Hillcrest. I think the new Hillcrest Snapchat filter can positively affect our school by showing the hard work it takes to be a Hillcrest Patriot. Let's use this filter to show everyone what it truly is to be a Hillcrest Patriot. Back to you. I'm Jayla. And I'm Michael. And, and that, that was your Pass, Pass TV. TV. Work, 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 work. It's to me, I be work, work, work.